Okay, so the ingredients you're going to need today will be some pineapple, which I've cut into sections and taken the core out, so that way when it sits on the grill, it should caramelise really nicely. We have some fresh mango that I've taken the cheeks off the edges, and that way that will also sit nicely on the grill and caramelise. It will add a really nice depth of flavour to the chutney. We also have two brown onions that I've chopped roughly. We have some chilli, four bird's eye chilies. You can use any chilies you like. We have a 10 cent piece of ginger. We have some ground cumin, which is one tablespoon. We have one teaspoon of the cinnamon, one tablespoon of turmeric, one tablespoon of curry powder, and one teaspoon of coriander seeds. Also, we're going to need some sugar and some vinegar. Alright guys, let's get outside and we'll start grilling our fruit. So now we've grilled our pineapple and mango. It looks fantastic, smells really good. We've got a really nice caramelization happening on those, that fruit there. All right, so now we're going to make our spice mix for our chutney. So I'm going to add all those spices I mentioned earlier into a pestle and mortar here. I'm gonna crush those up, and then we're going to add that into the pot. Up, bash down into a into a more of a paste powder. Uh, we're going to incorporate that into the chutney. So we'll begin cooking our chutney now, and I'll show you step by step how to do that. So stick around, guys. Okay, now our mangoes have cooled down. What we want to do is just take our skin off. We don't want no skin in our chutney. What we do now is we just add a tiny little dash of olive oil and our onions. We then add our spice mix. Give that a stir. Also cooking the spice down hence the flavours. Okay, to that we now add one cup of white vinegar. And two cups of sugar. Stir in. It smells amazing. Those spices are really coming through nicely. And then we add our mango and pineapple. Add a good pinch of salt. Alright you guys, it's that simple. We've added all our ingredients. Now what we need to do is let this sit on a low heat for one to two hours until it breaks down and thickens. And then we're ready to jar it up. See you guys in two hours. Alrighty guys, it's been about an hour and a half to two hours. 
and as you can see it's all broken down. During the cooking process you can just use a potato masher here to get the consistency that you like. Uh, I like it a little chunkier, it gives it a nice texture. So now what we're going to do is take this off and put it in a jar and we're good to go. Now we're going to put our chutney into a sterilised jar here, which uh, if you don't know how to sterilise a jar, all you have to do is put this in some boiling water for up to five minutes. Uh, that should keep it clean and help keep the chutney preserved. So yeah, let's bottle it up. Oh, this looks so good. It smells amazing. Voila! Alrighty guys, that is how you make a mango and pineapple chutney. It smells amazing and it wasn't too hard to make. It takes a little bit of time. I'll tell you what, it should be worth it in the end. I'm gonna give it a little taste test. That is damn good. Mmm. A bit of spice coming through. You can taste the mango and the pineapple. It's very sweet. It's got bite. It's nice. It turned out excellent. If you liked the video today, leave me a subscribe and a like so that when I drop a video, you'll be notified straight away. Tell you what guys, this is freaking awesome. And I want you to try this at home. See you next time guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Nutritional Foodie here. And I'll catch you at the next video.